Hello and welcome to Sideshow's First Look. Today we're looking at the Hydra Stomper and Steve Rogers six scale collectible set by Hot Toys from Marvel's What If. The box is enormous and is a brown shipper. On the exterior, in army green, is the Stomper and Steve Rogers in a pixelated style photo. When we open up the box, on the inside is going to be a large cover for the inside trays. On the cover sheet is going to be the Stomper and Steve in bright full color. With the cover sheet and the foam lifted, we see we have our Hydra Stomper and another small brown shipper that houses our Steve Rogers figure. But let's begin with unpacking the Stomper. The top tray holds the enormous body of the Hydra Stomper. The lower tray houses the thrusters, the special flight display stand, the foot pedals for the thruster, controls, the radio antenna, and the batteries for the light up feature. Let's take all the pieces out of these trays. Here we have all the pieces out needed for our Hydra Stomper assembly. The main body, the thrusters, the two foot pedals, the control panel, and the specially designed flight stand. The foot pedals attach with little pegs and hold in place. With the thrusters attached to the body and screwed down into place, we now cover it with the magnetic plate. The radio antenna connects to the back by pushing in and it holds in place. Our arc reactor and control panel has three magnets up on the front and they connect to three magnets on the inside body of the figure. Let's take a look at some of the highlights in the Hydra Stomper. First up at the head, it's kind of a throwback to the original Iron Man where we have those square eyes and that kind of teeth and gritted mouth look to it. Throughout the entire head, we're gonna get that olive drab green color and a hint of the flat black, but we're getting a lot of weathering and paint chips that make sense as it flies through the air and getting nicked and hit. Right here on the shoulders, having those additional handlebars for when Steve climbs inside is a neat addition. And those handlebars run all the way down the left side of the body, the chest, and down onto the leg. There in the chest, we're gonna have that star off on the right side, a little vent here in the center, and then the call number. Right there in the front, we're gonna get that bright blue chest light up as well. Here on the chest, as well as on the forearms and down on the legs, we see these little bolts everywhere that gives it that hand-built look of the time. Here on the shoulders, again, a throwback to that Iron Man armor style with grooves and intricate designs. Again, more of the beautiful weathering. Oversized there on the forearms, those bolts running down the side, a cannon on the right hand and on the left back, we get a little bit of what looks to be tank tread. Each one of the digits on the thumb and fingers are all articulated. The lower portion is set in a power pose, and this allows us to be able to put the figure inside and give it a sturdy base that we don't have to worry about it toppling over. For the design of the thrusters, it has an old World War II style to it with that rounded, almost missile-like look. All of it incredibly weathered, particularly on the front where it would be hitting the weather. This handle for Captain Carter to hang onto, as well as articulated foot pedals when we place our figure on it. Underneath are gonna be the large hoses that are supplying the thrust to these large rockets. And down here, heavy duty weathering. Little hints of color that break up the olive drab down on the bottom, as well as the air intakes on the side. Taking a look at the articulation of the Hydro Stomper, we have a ball jointed head that allows us to turn from side to side, lean, as well as lower, and to give it a more flight look, it extends upward and has a double joint for flight look. The hatch that lets us put the figure in is right here. And we get a little bit more detail on the upper hatch and our figure fits right inside. Here on the shoulder, this armor can lift up and out of the way. Here you see that there's the ball joint and a secondary ball joint there on the side. With that being a ball joint, we're able to lift the arm upward, lower it, 
move it forward, move it back. Because of the large oversized ball joint here, we can rotate the arm a full 180 degrees. With that armor out of the way, you can see this area here that is our bicep cut. Which lets us move the arm out and in. For the elbow, it's a ratchet style and can go to here. The hands are ball jointed and we can move them side to side and in and out. Each of the fingers as well as the thumb has individual points of articulation giving you more pose options. With the armor out to the side, we can see that when we extend the arm up directly out to the side, we then lower it into position. This even shows off more detail underneath of the arm. On the back thrusters, we have a few points of articulation. Each of these foot pedals can be lifted and lowered as well as the entire piece can move up or down. And the last point of articulation is here on the waist. With the arms extended out to the side, I can show you its range of motion to right and left. Now that we've taken a look at the Hydra Stomper, let's take a look at the Steve Rogers that's part of our six scale set. We begin with a look at the box. On the outside of the box is going to be an animated still from the What If series, Steve Rogers in his flight suit right up on the front. Behind and around the sides are going to be other characters from the What If series. It's a slip cover and when we lift that off, we have a beautiful window box that lets us see the Steve figure inside. Right now, let's take it out and see how it's laid in the tray. Here we have the Steve Rogers figure, four additional hands, the display base, figure stand, and additional wrist pegs. Here we have the Steve Rogers figure, its display base and figure stand with the Steve Rogers nameplate, a right and left pointing hand, a right salute, and a left open hand. The Steve Rogers six scale figure is from a 2D animated show, but now rendered in three dimensions. And that brings some really unique aspects to the design. First is that smooth quality to it, particularly up in the hair and then in the angles on the face. Here on the front, we have two strands of the hair hanging downward as well as the coif to the side. And all of that is actually an appliqued additional piece, but looks windblown on the look of the figure. On the back of the head, you're going to see that triangle style pointed pattern. We look down at the outfit in order to make the Steve Rogers look even smaller, the suit is a little bit larger. And we start with an under sweater. This is done in an ecru gray type color and then an olive drab suit over it. We're going to have canvas wrappings that are for his parachute on the back. These are in a tannish color uh, that almost matches the sweater two stripes of it going down the parachute and really breaking up that solid color. There is a small belt that's permanently applied right to the front with a buckle on it. The straps that are part of the parachute are also down on the legs. On each leg are going to be oversized pockets and then it works down to the boots. The boots to have an animated style are exaggerated and the front end of them is almost bulbous sculpted laces on there and a semi-gloss look to them as though they are a polished military boot. On each hand, he has leather gloves with a tightening strap on the top of each one. For articulation on the Steve Rogers, we start up at the head with a ball joint that allows us to turn it right and left, lean side to side, tilt forward, and extend upward. The shoulders can raise out to the side a little past 90 degrees, can go forward up almost above its head, and then straight back. The shoulder has a butterfly joint to row forward and backward, a double jointed elbow, and a traditional style wrist peg. We can fully rotate and tilt the hand. 
A cut bicep lets us move the arm in and out. With the arms extended to the side, we take a look at the torso. We get full turns to the right and to the left. Deep leans side to side. And a full crunch forward and extend back. The legs and hips are ratcheted and extend out to 90 degrees. Kick straight out and backward. And double jointed knees allow it to fit inside the Hydra Stomper. The entire leg can rotate in and out and a ball joint at the top of the boot lets us lift the foot up, extend down, and turn in and out. There is a right and left pointing hand, a right salute hand, and a left relaxed hand. And a traditional hexagonal display base, a reflective what if image on the top featuring the Hydra Stomper and the Steve Rogers name right on the front. This has been Sideshow's first look at the Hydra Stomper and Steve Rogers collectible set by Hot Toys from Marvel's What If. For more information about this figure and payment plans available through Sideshow, follow the link below. Tune in to Unsealed or Revealed for more six scale figure action. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to let your geek sideshow. Be sure to subscribe by clicking the S icon on your screen and click that bell icon to be notified whenever a new video is posted. If you'd like more info on the items featured in this video, click the link provided under product info. Thanks for watching and don't forget to let your geek side show.